so you will pay me we call something unfront payment like you have to pay me half of the money first i will blame the victim for it when you're talking about working for something now we are not saying maybe it is good or it is bad but when you're working for something then yes your boys they are working for their money you know all these whites they are the ones supplying the yahoo boys <laughs> they are the ones feeding them anybody feeding based on the business you understand they call them clients prostitutes are working human trafficking they are working like now we nigerians we black we have the fear of god in us wow. <laughs> The old boy will go to Instagram, they will create a page. They are using all social media apps, even Snapchat. If you are saying it's sharp bad day, <laughs> it's not reducing anything. There are some things we call formats. The format is like a waiting word that once you just drop it for the client like this, it will fall. <laughs> I get it. This old boy, all the two of them, and it ended in tears. They do dating, they do loto, mm. they do ukop, mm. they do inheritance. I don't think men are doing yahoo because of women alone. We will send them fake location. Uh, some victims said they will have to drive up to like six good hours to that location. Then finding out that it's a wrong location, they will be like, you played me, I'm fed up, stuff like that. Many of them commit suicide. I had most of them as friends and I saw them go from being normal yahoo boys into yahoo boys that are now going extra mile as they are going to do rituals and stuff or codedly they are going to want afar to pray for them yeah my street to call some people a to go those people that tax yahoo boys and be like hey to ali to ali them too we're already teaching them how to cash fish <laughs> it's like, it's like they are working very hard for their money mm. it's huge capital they spend money to make the money you, you actually know, know you know at this point now i'm beginning to feel that I am the only normal person in <laughs> The rest of you guys are insane. <laughs> Disclaimer, this genre is, is a talk show format, right? Because somebody is narrating a particular scenario does not mean the person is involved in it. Right? We're just saying this because just in case law enforcement is watching this, right? So on today's show, we'll be talking about, we'll be asking the question, um, do Yahoo boys, do they, are they actually working for their money? On the other side of the argument, we have some people who say that they're a menace, they should be eradicated. In fact, wherever you find them, you should shoot them on sight. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's the conversation we're having. If I recall exactly, you said you said they were working for their money. Yeah. When you're talking about working for something, now we are not saying maybe it is good or it is bad or it is cultural, non-cultural, anything. But when you're working for something, then yes, Yahoo boys are working for whatever they are doing. Prostitution. Prostitutes are working. What again? Illegal human trafficking. They are all working. So yes, your old boys, they are working for their money. This is this is how politicians behave. <laughs> Anybody okay, so you also had a, you, you also had a partner in crime. Um Rashid is in the audience, so let's let's go to Rashid. Okay. Okay. According to people I've stayed with and I've lived with, I realize that uh Yahoo people, what they are doing is their profession. And anything you take as a profession. Are you getting me? You must work for it. Okay, you said they are scamming people. Okay, fine. They are scamming people based on what they do. I will blame the victim for it. Are you getting me? For example, now, people, if somebody like me, you cannot come and meet me and be telling me blah, 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 shit. And I will, <laughs> and I will uh, drop money for you. Yahoo is not like, how uh, will I say it? I face you one on one, I talk to you. you if you put it on the real stage, uh, it's mainly because all those people, they like girls, they like women, and they know these are weak points. Are you getting me? So we come with another. I don't paper. understand. You just said something. I okay. said all those people they like girls, they like yes, women. Yes. Uh, it's as if there's an understanding. Okay, so a bit of background because for people who are watching this for the very first time, you wonder what exactly are these Africans talking about? In Nigeria, okay, people who who commit fraud, um, cyber crime, cyber fraud advanced fee fraud they call them yahoo boys and the reason why the, the reason why that name stuck is because historically it started in the days in which people were using yahoo mail and so they were so the name was boys using yahoo mail and then it became yahoo boys and i think that's one of the things that destroyed the, the yahoo.com Yahoo. in nigeria because anytime you hear yahoo.com you just believe that it's it became synonymous synonymous with fraud that's so that's why they now call them yahoo boys so you've said something now and that's what you said that you said that those men are those men like women but what do you mean that, by that you know all these uh whites and stuff like that uh they are used to all these let me see 
um, all these sexual activities. They don't like now. We Nigerians, we black, we have the fear of God in us. Wow. <laughs> 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 We have the fear of God in us, and many of us, our culture and stuff, did not permit us to be enlightened to something like that. In the UK, you will see a, a, a girl of uh, eight years old telling her mom, "My boyfriend is coming over for dinner." I should be like, "Wow, is it cool? Let him come over." But try him for this Africa. <laughs> you go back. So things like that. So we know there are weak points. So this is how we go. We create a profile. Are you getting me? We. I love the weed. Yeah. 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 I would say this. I would say this so that because you guys are saying you like the weed, so that I can dissociate myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not part of. Just say that you. Okay. Just give us a. So, so you like. I know. I'm not a yow boy, but no, I me. I mean go with people that are doing it. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. 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 And they live with it. Mm. Okay. So, you, but you live with yow boys. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, Where do you stay, by the way? Uh, <laughs> what what part of you stay? Close my location. Please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they come with like, she should know what I'm talking about. Yeah, all boy will go to Instagram. They will create a page, Instagram, Facebook, or uh, Twitter. They are even using TikTok now. Wow. Uh. They are using TikTok, so be very careful. <laughs> they are using TikTok. They are using all social media app, everything, even Snapchat. Yeah, mm. everywhere. So uh the boys will create the profile, they'll start messaging them. Uh there are some things we call formats. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? The format is like a written word that once you just drop it for the client like this, you go fall. <laughs> are you getting me? It's just like so they love they love something we call nudes, if I'm permitted to say it. Yao boys will come sexy picture. <laughs> send it to them be like i'm looking for a serious relationship i'm not looking blah blah stuff like that and the client will be like wow i've been what do you mean by clients by the clients the the, the, victim. the, wife, the victim the victim they are the ones supplying the old boys <laughs> they are the one feeding them so anybody feeding based on the business you understand they call them clients they do dating they do loto they do hook up mm -hmm. They do inheritance. Wow. Mm. Are you wow. getting me? Yeah. So the yeah. dating, yeah. we are all familiar with dating. We, okay, like we are all familiar yeah, with okay. dating. dating. The yeah. way uh, I like you, let's you know, mm. you understand. Mm. So we pull up, even uh, this man, you know, get too much money. We we'll give him dating, then we follow up, hook up. If you want to fast, you know, fast meet up, you pay me for short term. To, you understand one hour to be with you two hours to be with you you just have to pay me and i will send you the location fake location of the country you are which i am not hmm. are you getting me yeah so you will pay me we call something on front payment like you have to pay me half of the money first <laughs> are you getting me wow. then <laughs> sometimes sometimes the victim okay so let me just pause you here all right before you go into the issue of victim all right so because something just came up right now um while while we're on our way here someone in the bus said that he sent money to a girl to come and visit him <laughs> and the girl did not show all right i'm not calling the person out but now you understand yeah. what format was being played on you right yeah. let's, let's continue so uh we'll send them fake location uh, some victims said they will have to drive up to like six good hours to that location. Then finding out that it's a wrong location, they'll be like, you played me, I'm fed up, stuff like that. Many of them commit suicide. Many of them God. just stab, sure. like depressed, stuff like that. Oh. Then uh, many of them will just like distrust. They don't give it anymore. Even though, even say I are real and stuff like that, because uh, maybe the client, the victim, somebody have scammed him before. Another scam. Now I dead him up like want to talk to him, and he's still saying the same thing that somebody have done this to him, somebody have done that to him, uh, to him, and I will still be like, I will still be able to convince him again that that one that I did for you that is not real. Uh, me, I'm real, I'm okay, I'm nice, I'll send you pictures, raw ones, and you still fall again. So that's okay. where I'm blaming the victim. Okay. So that's on the hookup side, we have the dating side, we have the inheritance to side. What's, What's inheritance? inheritance? 
that one is a long story that I can, just give like a brief, a brief uh, well i'll sue the clients fake documents fake everything and you have to sell everything you have how will how do your boys sue clients uh i'm not that's a young boy so <laughs> i don't know that's, the, that's not yeah. so you are giving in so much that's months. not the in that okay do you know anything about inheritance sir actually yes um, mm. inheritance is um when from the word inheritance when you actually lie to somebody that you have a property maybe your dad your little dad is living for you and that person believes and based on the fact that okay my dad left the property of over four hundred thousand US dollars. Based on that fact, now begin to explore the person that this property when it comes on board, we are sharing. Okay, the lawyer said you should pay so so amount for this property. So that is that's the one I want to bring it as not no, they just call it inheritance based on you understand Yahoo Yahoo terms. Yeah, he's I he's, get him. He's, he's related to that, Sha. I get him, <laughs> but sometimes it gets to sometimes that they will have to sue the clients and the client don't want to lose anything because like you know like like black, black no black. no blackmailing is different too yeah. so ah, you have to wow, sue client means... and just okay, don't so want to then to finally you said lotto there's lotto, lotto. what does lotto uh, mean uh, lotto. what does that mean uh, I, I, would, I don't know how to put it but it's only a yahoo guy that can give you a clear definition of lotto. Hmm. I get him. Absolutely. But there is one grant. Okay. You you know about that one too. Maybe okay, so let's so let's hear about it. Grant, I don't know if I'm correct. That's the one that um you file something like there are benefits from other countries, US, UK, like our country here. Yeah. So you file it as if you are their citizen. So you get that Dumb. from them. That's okay. it now. And there's some ah. things we call wire check. We have um this one going in now. Who can remind me? Um, I did me. God bless you. I did me. You follow me. My God, what's <laughs> this? Like? No, no. What's no? I'm not. I'm not saying you. I'm not saying that you are involved. I'm just asking. I I'm, seriously, I don't know. What is? What does that mean? I know when they are talking about I did me. I think it's like a money, a huge amount of money. They they that file way. they file the money and uh Actually, they they will look for like a client there. Yeah. That have not issued any tax before. I get him. That has not issued any tax, and his bank score, like his bank score, is like oh, above four hundred and something, five hundred and something. They have bank score, like from what I understand, um, from the word ID me, it means I think it means identify me, identify me, and is a process whereby um, Yahoo boys once is there's a i think there's a period of time in the united states const- uh, calendar whereby their citizens are giving like some percentage of the tax they pay for a period of time so during that time they, they will have some personal details that each citizen of the country will have to like tender to be eligible for the money so based on this some of these yahoo guys they will just like who some citizens which you are also not clients you know we try to um convince them on dropping the, the, these details for them so that they can use it use the details to file out the money for themselves uh, and it's a huge sum of money like, um, we're not talking about some talking of millions in in nigeria currency 50 50 60. 100 150 self based on credit score credit and score. how well you know what I, everybody I, everybody's just quiet <laughs> 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 okay so you are saying now so on the basis of the details you provided now you are saying that it's a lot of work a lot of work and you're saying that they are working for they are, they work uh, like it's like they are working very hard for their money with mm. huge capital what do you mean by with huge capital yeah. they spend money to make the money there is a sum of 18k package in nigeria money that i can use it to wire like maybe like two thousand five hundred dollars <laughs> and there is a package you buy for 80k to 100k that you can wire like fifteen thousand dollars stuff like that to twenty thousand dollars so you use me money to make money on the basis of this now what what you are saying is that the guys who are involved in yahoo they see themselves as investment bankers <laughs> don't put it that way now. Nah. No, no, because you're saying that you see that you, you, you use the particular word, you said profession. Yes, that's their profession. And it's it's financial in nature, so it's okay, so that's interesting. 
I'm short of words. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so, and and with that money, a lot of Yahoo guys have been like successful, be able to bring up their uh, their family and stuff wow. like that. Oh, I, I don't use the word successful. No, no, I know what I'm saying. Let's let him. Let's let's I have talking. many people yes, know what he's saying. that are that started business. When I'm talking about real moving business with the money. Real what? Real moving business with the money. Real moving, like so moving like fast selling property businesses with the money and it has helped us a lot. No, we are not well, to us. <laughs> 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 like we are not hearing of all these bug lights, snatching of bags. Everybody now. They are not concerned about that. It depends on where you are staying. No, yes. 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 if you are staying in See, let me tell you something. Okay. Let's let's hear what she has. If you are staying in Shakpa Day, that is not reducing anything. That's <laughs> because they don't have people. In my street, so I will go to go. All those go to go. We call it up. Yeah, they do have. Yeah. Yes, yes. You said yes. something. Now. You said on your street. Yeah, on my street. We call some people go to go. Those people that tax your boys and be like, hey, too early, too early. Mm-hmm. Them too, we're already teaching them how to <laughs> catch fish. They're already teaching them how to catch fish and make money. What does it mean that catch fish? There's a saying that says, don't teach don't, me. Don't, don't give me fish. Me. Don't teach me fish. fish. Teach, teach me how to catch fish. All right. How do you feel? <laughs> yes. hey. And all these people here, I know even Yao guy approach you, they are very decent. They are decent because it's only the last type you will see that there yeah. will be. But when you mm. see yeah, a confirm Yao guy, actually, no, when he talks to you, his accent, everything, he smell nice. <laughs> that, 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 that is, that is knowledgeable. Mm. Yeah, I know what I'm saying, bro. I yeah. say, mm. can, okay, can, can we can we can we go to you then? From what he said, not all people that are involved in Yahoo are actually okay, good. So I'll say nice people. Some of them are just there to get the money for the hype. Some of them are just there to get the money to live extravagant right. life. Some of them they even have the knowledge of how to make money work. What's the one they know that okay? Yeah, there's one way I can go to. Just sit down for hours, stay online, catch somebody, swander him of his money, then we'll go out to ball, buy a latest car, carry the finest chick, flex the money. Once the money is over, you start all over again. <laughs> but basically to me, this thing called Yahoo is actually killing our youths very, very badly. And he's already turning them to someone that does doesn't want to involve themselves in hardcore jobs when i say hardcore jobs not like liberals and all this like focus on physical jobs that could actually better their life they now see the internet as a place to just let's go there let's sit down once you just sit down you type somebody and he sends you money then you go out and live your life not knowing that this thing you are doing it can only get you as far there's a limit to it you will surely you will surely break down and that's she, why she does not agree with you yes and that's why you should make use of the money okay. very well when you see okay it. let's let's, let's let's from what we start actually saying okay people that are involved in yahoo now they now have to go extraordinary miles to be able to make this money because right now if you are a yahoo boy you cannot just sit down in your house physically without maybe visiting a, if, um, a priest yeah, father so. in the church mocks or oh, one share. local Actually. yeah one local baba from somewhere to give you to oh, fortify share. your that body so bad something that's so you understand yeah. what is it but yeah, I st- no, they are still yahoo they it's call themselves they call, call themselves yahoo boys they call themselves yahoo boys but me and i i classify them as as a more like ritualist to me yes. i classify them yahoo. because yahoo how how will you tell me that okay this is where you make your money and just to make that money you have to lose go somewhere buy something that you know you have <laughs> okay to, for maybe like around one you have to go out to buy something just to call money so should i ask this question do you think it's only yahoo guys that does stuff like that i won't say i didn't say it's only yahoo guys that so why are you not well, right right now let me there are many to get again to the back and forth you can always say you can always say that uh, other people are doing so so and so there's no end to that argument there are armed robbers also who give who, who give uh, to charity there are kidnappers uh, who donate 
that guy that was caught, Evans, was one such person. Mm -hmm. He was on chairman of several charities. In fact, that's where he got a lot of his victims from. That's, that's, you, you can't go down that path. Rocky, but you're about to respond. He said um, those guys that are so, they are ritualists. I disagree. Okay, okay do you yeah. have personal experience what you want to say? Yeah. Something like that. Okay, so let's hear you. I disagree because I have an example of someone that goes to church and if you are celestial, you will know that not also a ritual. I'm sorry, can I ask some, a question? You yourself might have some spiritual yes, no. problems and just to do some deliverance is going to make everything work for you that period of time. Wow. So you can I ask a question. What's that? Your Bible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please, I want to involve are, the Bible, sorry. The Does your Bible anywhere in the, uh, in the bible chapter tell you that you need to use soap for deliverance before anything can happen and can i add to you uh, said, you said, you're, you're going into religious uh, yes yeah, she was she brought she the brought church in so based on the fact that she brought the church in that's what i'm bringing the bible in because for example now we, now all this yahoo boys now take it a turn to like go to celestial church collect beads but where is in the bible that you have to go to church pastor is to do soup for you i think that's very wrong I, we have a conversation and this is the conversation the conversation we're having right now is that a yahoo boy is working for their money yes that's the conversation that we are having that's the conversation now from what you have said and you've illustrated you've made us understand that it's actually a lot of work some people probably put a lot of hours into the process and so in a sense you see them as being industrious no you've seen as being very very industrious okay so that's the angle. Is does anybody here have experience, close experience, lived experience with somebody who is involved in that kind of activity? Maybe someone you were able to observe. You're open. So yeah, no, we'll go first. I want particularly the ladies to talk. Okay. And there's a reason behind that. Okay. So before you talk, this is the bedrock of it. Um, most, if you give it to most men alone, most men are actually quite comfortable, right? If all they have is a bedroom, they have a box in a corner. That they can bring a lady there to come and have sex with and they have a tv that they can watch a tv and a fridge and a place they can cook <laughs> most men are extremely comfortable and that's why you would find out that the reason why some people say that the reason why a lot of men wake up in the morning and go to work is because they realize that they need they need to have resources if they are going to have a shot at women and we live in a society where um lots of young men are constantly realizing that the ladies they probably would have dated okay are being enticed away from their aunts by a young man who, or a, an older man who has a lot of money to burn so we are having that conversation okay the effects of yahoo boys right now we've spoken about whether yahoo is work or not you've been able to make a case that it involves a lot of work now we're going to talk about the effects that yahoo is having on society on dating relationships, on people starting families. Okay, so let's hear your experience. So I have male friends. I don't really have lady friends. And when they talk about their um, their life, and for example, you are in school, you are in school, and your parents are feeding you, but you are getting oppressed because you have some boys in school that are driving cars it's not like your parents are not feeding you well though. they are they are actually taking care of you they are giving you your monthly allowance and all but you see some guys in school that are like riding cars and everything and you want to belong i don't think i don't think it's because of ladies hmm. i don't think it's because of, i think it's it's in your head it's your perspective it's what you want to do you know that if you make this money that a lot of things will like people will respect you it's not only because of women i don't think men are doing yahoo because of women alone I, I said alone please they are doing it because they want to feel among they they, they can't I have somebody that he cannot go to a club if he does not have money because he knows that they will oppress him in the club. At least he has to buy one or two bottles. So, so it's like they have to, they want to feel among. So it's not about only ladies alone. That's only what I have to say. Okay. How will you go to club you, without having money? Do you have, do you have any practical example? Did you date anybody that you broke up with badly? You can badly. tell the story. 
badly mm-hmm. because of Yahoo. Yes. No, not because of Yahoo. Because of what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, so we'll come to Abigail, right? Yeah. Do you have experience with these matters? Okay, so um, after secondary school, I dated a couple of Yahoo boys. Not because, not because they had money, because at that time they were just even coming up. Yeah. So basically, I noticed a pattern with them. That's what you said about the society influencing them. Okay, so I think women can agree that money is an important factor in relationships. Yes. To everybody, even to men. But basically, when it gets to the level where you are doing something, I'm not saying it's not work, like you said. It's work, a lot of work. But that's the wrong work, because how long can you keep going for? Would you settle down and be a yahoo boy, and then your money will not be coming steadily? And then your child is brought up in that environment where... You know, your father has to wait for money to come once, to come once, like that, like that. So I dated this Yahoo boy, or the two of them, and it ended in tears. You did date both of them at the same time? No, 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 at different times. No, because the way you said that I dated these two Yahoo boys, <laughs> eh, both of them. <laughs> no, 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 at different okay, so times. Are you open to talking about your experience? My experience with them wasn't just terrible. The only thing is that I know that most of them are serial cheats. Because okay. there's this pattern that comes with loving women. Um, there's something we say on this show, the unexamined life is not worth living. Okay. We're not here before we start talking about morality and all that. People do things because they do things because it, they benefit from it. Usually, what people think about how does it benefit me before they start thinking of will I get into heaven with this? <laughs> do you understand? <laughs> In fact, getting into heaven is the last the thing last on lots of people's minds. Nobody thinks so. Whether I like you or not, some of you, there are so many people here. If we people have cheated in exams. Okay, if I ask you, how many of you have never cheated in an exam? I've never. You've never never looked at somebody's score. I've never cheated. Just hear hear me. Just you've never looked at somebody's score. You have never looked. You've never asked somebody a question. From the time you were in primary school, okay, so you've never taken you've never taken your phone into the exam hall. No, never, never. Cap, why you cap? Never, which one is cap? When I when I was when I was in university, I had a guy back then was when smartphones were becoming a thing, and the guy would take his phone into the exam hall. You keep it inside his shirt, and. I would be afraid for him. Exactly. <laughs> because I'm like, if they catch this guy, they're going to rusticate this guy. And after the exam, I said, guy, why would you do that kind of thing? And he would say, this is his words. If, it, if I don't take that phone into the exam, I won't have confidence. Wow. Do you understand? That guy made me realize that there are some people who, in fact, the exact word is this, but you don't need this phone. You don't need the phone. And the guy would say, yes. But that's, he needs the confidence that if he runs into problems, he can always call for backup. <laughs> That's his words. Okay, so sometimes it's good to listen to people. Sometimes it's good to understand the world you live in because you are not, if you're in a world in which, if you're in a world filled with Yahoo boys and they have the money and wealth to sway the affections of women and you're a young man and you do not want to do Yahoo, but you realize that you keep losing the girls you like to boys who are doing yahoo it's a crazy battle it messes with your head yeah. and anybody who is we can believe whatever you want to believe but these ladies the ladies are telling you okay that money is an important consideration do not the only person that will love you unconditionally is your mother yes, yes. and god even your mother and even your mother to reach a level of <laughs> lack of promise in your life that she will discharge you okay so that's why we want to have this conversation. So let's let's hear. I've given you enough time to gather your thoughts. I deliberately so that you can think carefully. Do you want to proceed down this line of okay, conversation? Um, yes. Yeah. All right. So you say you did two, two year old boys. So what, what happened after secondary school? Okay, after secondary school, it was more like I liked the, the first one very much. Then I dated him because I liked him. He was normal, romantic. Every girl likes a little bit of romance. But then I found out I was dating his ex. He had been dating his ex all through when I was dating him for the 11 months period. Okay. And I saw signs, but he kept debunking it and saying, oh, the girl just likes him. She's stalking him and all. And when I finally got to know for the third time, I'm like, why do you have to like follow this pattern? It's not like you're having a year where that has even blown itself. <laughs> because it's not like you're giving me money. I just, I was there because I liked you. And then it seems like you're doing the same fraudulent acts in your personal life. 
So for me, it was like, you know, no, and I had to like leave the relationship. Then right after then, I had a friend. That one just grew into a relationship. It wasn't more like I liked, I was in, I was in that phase where I was like, no relationship, men has come, <laughs> no ma. So basically I dated that one and he told me he was taking a break and I wanted to go and hustle. In my mind, I'm like, okay. It seems this guy is doing yeah. Well, maybe they not go use me. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, go hustle. Come back if you want, but I don't. I'm not promising you that I'll be waiting for you. And I was still young, so basically it wasn't a big deal for me. But so more or less, both of them broke up with you. Yes, the other. No, I broke up with the first one because so I I couldn't. Yeah, but the second one said he wants to go and hustle, but I won't. And be. then he, he and said you won't be best there. Friend. Maybe like the was too much. I feel like I was even billing him. That's the thing. He was Second practically, he wasn't the kind of your but I had a house or anything special. I was in my parents' house, I was okay, and I was working. So basically for him, it was more like, I think he just wanted to go out and do rubbish. He wanted to have like more than one girlfriend, and he knew I would not condone it. So he dated his best friend, and then three other girls, but I found out like one year after the relationship. <laughs> so basically for me, it was more like I escaped them, but I had most of them as friends, and I saw them go from being normal yaw boys into your old boys that are not going extra mile. That's they are going to do rituals and stuff to make money. Or codedly they are going to want Afar to pray for them. And then you see them move from Ikorodu to Leki. And you're wondering <laughs> how did they do it? <laughs> you know, you're still there and you're still in your parents' house. So personally, those ones that use soap and everything, for me, those ones are not even your old boys again. They are ritualists. That's just the fact. Now, rituals is just, the definition of ritual is something you do consistently in a religion. It's something that is normal to them. It doesn't mean that it has to be bad, like she said, for the soap and whatever. It doesn't have to be bad. But if you are doing something to get something, why, why, why do normal legal professionals not go and bat in the river for, for their businesses to work out? They do, they do, they do, they do it. They do, it. They do that, yet. Taylor, they do that. Hmm? But you don't, them, you don't got them, you don't got them hairdressers plus. Do we do that? Yeah. We don't do that. We don't we don't pattern them like that. But the fact is what is wrong is wrong. If you are doing something that is wrong, just know that it's off. You, you know, actually you, know. You know at this point now, I'm beginning to feel that I am the only normal person. <laughs> <in> the <laughs> <country>. <laughs> it's just dawning on me that I am the only yeah, yeah. normal person yeah. in this yeah. country. Yeah. I think it's because it's of the rest of you guys are insane. <laughs> <laughs> Are not no, do, do, no, do you know why? Do you know why? Do you, do you know what's blowing my mind? It's not even the Yahoo we are talking about. What's blowing my mind is that you're telling me that somebody who is doing hairdressing is going to go and do rituals yes. to yes. blow. Yes, yes. yes. Really? yes. I, I, I believe that is that is a purely skill dependent activity. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You have mentioned that the reason why you don't want to hang out with Yahoo boys is because you're afraid that they may become ritualists. Yes. And if you have a bad pattern of lifestyle. If you are certain that the guy will not become a ritualist, would you date him? A yeah, boy right now. Yes. At this phase of my life, I don't think so. Now, um, I I just think most times when um for a lady most times, because I've been I've been with girls, I have female friends. For a lady most times, it is about the money. It's not about the source of the money. Existing conversation. You said girls are falling into a relationship because the um with your boys because i don't have the money to spend so this what i'm trying to say is most times it's not about the yahoo boy itself it's about the money that when some girls have the money from other source they can even date because the perspective you are painting is like out of the business of girls 80 percent will date yahoo boy okay so let's by show of hands how many women here if you are not afraid of ever and I'm using that that's the only thing. If you're not afraid of heaven, not religious, whatever. If there was no heaven, there was no hell. How many of you would date a young boy? Listen, I've already removed that. There's no heaven. If you knew that there was no heaven, there was no hell. We just live here and later, then we die and we go. If that, how many of you would date a young boy? Raise up your hands. By show of hands now, I've qualified. How many? I'll tell you this. I'll, I'll, I'll say this. You do not know. You do not know um, what temptation looks like because it has not come knocking at your door. Right. Let me let me explain. I will explain why to you. I'll explain why to you. You have not at this point in your life. You are not in a position, okay, where you can take a trip from here. Move to Bellagio, Italy, pick up prostitutes in Italy, and fly them to Dubai and spend the month. 
you're not in that position right now okay. Okay. so if we're having that conversation you cannot tell me that i will not do so okay, okay. I have the money. okay. Yeah. when you have the money you if you become case president case? of the country and you have the means to marshal the wealth of the resources and maybe fly to a, a country like Dubai for a conference. Mm-hmm. You probably will carry prostitutes with you. Yes, mm-hmm. you mean, it's at that point, it's at that point in which you have to make that decision. So there are lots of ladies are the ones, the women here are the ones who are meeting. And Yano said something. Yano said that, and that's why, and that's why, that's why I took the concern in that direction. Yano said that you are, you can, you can be a good girl from your family, from a good family background, and they are meeting all your needs. And you will still feel that sense Thank you. that you are being intimidated yes. from a financial standpoint. Yes. Is that not? Am I not yeah. correct? I was, I was, I was correct. Correct. I'm not knocking what yeah. what you are saying can equally be correct. But I'm trying to tell you that the money coming from a family background, coming from a stable family background, does not a, does not guarantee that she will not want to date a guy yeah. who is involved in fraud. This conversation has left me. Dumbfounded. Dumbfounded. Speechless. <laughs> okay, and I have a newfound appreciation or respect for the kind of work that fraudsters yeah. are involved in. Okay, it is it is organized crime. It's organized crime. Yes, 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 it's it's crime. It is. You understand? It's organized, it's organized crime. crime. Very, very organized. It's extremely very very organized crime. But the challenge with crime, the, let me tell you the challenge with crime. The challenge with crime is that in a society, nobody, you can speak about, you judge, you do not judge, um, you do not judge, you, we don't judge things by what those things are alone. Mm-hmm. We judge them by the impact that they have on other people, mm-hmm. okay, and on society. There are some things that when you look at it, for a person, it is good. But when you scale it out across the society, you now see the effect. Mm-hmm. And I will tell you this, that the problem with living in a society of thieves is that you yourself will be afraid, constantly afraid that somebody is going to rob you. Mm-hmm. The punishment, the punishment for the person who tells lies is that he will not be able to believe what anybody else is telling him. Mm-hmm. That's the punishment. The punishment for the person who womanizes is that what you will not be able to believe that anybody else can be faithful mm-hmm. you understand okay so when you look at when you look at vices and there, there's a reason why they are called vices the reason why fraud is a major is a major issue and that's why i said in the boss is that human societies are built on trust okay the young person trusts that the old person will not destroy his life will allow him to grow the old person trusts that when he becomes old and is not strong enough, the young person will not take advantage of his feebleness in old age. All right? And so we spoke about that trust. When you go to, and I was making a case that when you go to a pharmacy to buy drugs, you want to, you, you trust that if you buy a drug and this drug is an antibiotic meant for a cough, you trust that inside that capsule, you don't have detergent. Why? Because the person who sells detergents as antibiotic can equally tell you that he works extremely hard to put that together, to formulate it, to distribute. But if you are living in a society where people consistently are selling, the anti- are putting, are selling detergents as antibiotics, after a while, you will stop buying drugs from that society. Do you understand me? The same vein also, when you go to the hospital and you meet your doctor, you want to trust that your doctor, if he tells you you have appendicitis, you truly have appendicitis. It's not that your doctor puts you on the operating table, puts you to sleep, and removes a kidney. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I made that case in the bus. You understand? Because it takes a lot of... I can tell you this, all right? When people say that uh, they are removable kidneys, do you know the amount of work it takes, all right, to put someone to sleep, to take out the kidneys, to ensure the person does not bleed while they are taking out the kidneys. The person doesn't bleed to death. Because the kidneys get its blood supply directly from directly yeah. from the aorta. It come, the blood comes directly from the aorta. Aorta connects directly to the heart. You understand me? So if you do not properly anesthetize and you don't have proper hemostasis, the person can bleed to death. So it takes a lot of work. Then when you harvest the kidney, it takes a lot of work to keep that kidney alive. Yeah until you can transplant it to the next person. That's an entire value chain. 
it happens in some countries i will not mention some asian countries people go there for operation they take out parts and when we hear about it we do not celebrate the surgeons and say they've done a good job we curse the surgeons and i will tell you this if you are doing a particular job consistently and i don't care what anybody says and there's somebody at the other end who is cursing your work that's not work yeah. you understand me so whether you like it or not the way things are it's work in the sense that they are putting a lot of work in it but it is organized crime and it does not build society it tears society up and i can listen to whatever reasons people want to and i'm, I'm not afraid of yahoo boys now that's not that's not my fear my biggest fear is what will happen when you have an entire society where all the old men and fathers are yahoo boys because try to imagine you live in a society where all the old old men are yahoo boys okay something's going to end up happening and i'll tell you I'll, I'll tell you what will happen eventually somebody will look up will get fed up of everything they will take everybody up they'll take them to a corner and they'll get them shot and i'm telling you what happens in most societies that's what happens if you go to italy in the mafia you go to when there's so much organized crime it will get to a stage everybody cannot be in organized crime because everybody is doing organized crime organized. so one person will gather organize everybody and kill them because you can only have one robber in a society when you're everyone, everybody is robbing it's not a <laughs> you too. so we'll close out the show here we'll thank you very much for being a part of this conversation if you're involved in fraud we'll tell you this you, you will eventually get what's coming to you okay yeah. you will if you are involved in honest work you will, you will reap the rewards of your labor Amen. and if you are involved in fraud also you will reap the rewards of your labor <laughs> <laughs>